As we speak, CASPA is testing new all-time highs, and this recent bullish move to the upside has reshaped the horizon of the 2025 price peak. Now, we'll get into the details of this on the chart, as well as show a clip of Jonathan Saplinski himself, explaining that smart contracts are indeed on the way. But first, Captain Altcoin recently highlighted an issue that the fellowship of Caspa must address, where he reports, can't wait to watch all the major influencers kick themselves for not buying Caspa when it hits $3. Years ago, BlackBerry was about to lose their company. So they resorted to guerrilla marketing tactics. They actually hired a truckloads of male models to run around established country clubs. Their assignment was to dress to a tee, walk around the tennis courts and the cocktail lounges, talking loud about how rich and powerful they were. Meanwhile, waving their blackberries around in the air for all eyes to see. And this actually worked. Meanwhile, the metrics of how often any crypto project are mentioned on social media are monitored by investors of all shapes and sizes, from VCs to market makers to your everyday retail traders. And we can see this tool, alphascan.xyz, shows the most popularly mentioned projects on Twitter. Caspa is only ranked number six right now. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is make at least 10 posts that are intellectual and informing. Looking at the CASPA chart, this is when things start getting really exciting. As this recent move to the upside gets us even closer to this control breakout line dotted green right here. For those of you who haven't seen the 2025 price peak video, we released it 10 days ago. Definitely check that out directly after this as we go into the details on why this trend line is so important. In April of 2025, it's exactly at $1.50. So the candle needs to get as close to this as possible so we can get to the top side of it. And then we can place a Fibonacci pitch at this angle and get the correct measurement to find the true peak in 2025, the legendary $5 price prediction. Now on Bitcoin, we can see two identical breakout trend lines, just like on Caspa, both in 2019 and in 2023, the purple trend line formed a broadening wedge with this repeating golden trend line. Now, we had the lockdowns, this super bearish action, but that purple trend line still acted as resistance for the 2021 price peak, right around $70,000. Same broadening wedge here, same exact purple trend line. Run that up to 2025 April, it's right around $120,000. Smart contracts are coming out. They're going to get released early 2025 or late 2024. And here's a video clip of Jonathan Saplinski talking about that exactly. In, ter in, ter in terms of usefulness, it's definitely the case that we have to implement uh, smart contracts, but this will, will not be done as an, um, as an afterthought. This is, there's a reason why we will do this in the next year and not in the past year. Yeah. And I'll explain, I'll explain what, what's, you know, how, how the timing here is very, very important. Jonathan Soplinski himself talking about how important timing is for the crypto market in the Caspa team has been using timing for their advantage better than anybody else. Months ago, we were talking about how they were going to release the Rust upgrade and the KRC20 inscriptions simultaneously with the FOMC meeting. Everybody thought we are nuts. Now, this is exactly what the CASPA team is doing. And it's so obvious once you zoom out and put all the puzzle pieces together. The inscriptions on KRC20 is going to open up stable coins, Tether specifically on Caspa. Right now, the leaders in Tether are Ethereum and Tron. One's expensive, one's outdated. Guess who owns the biggest bags of Tether in the world? It's the market makers. They have enormous amounts of money. And so when PAL cuts rates, this directly puts money liquidity in their pocket. Liquidity that they're going to throw into the Caspa ecosystem. Because imagine if you owned 
the biggest bag of stable coins on planet Earth. You are a market maker like Jane and Jump Street. Would you want to run them on Ethereum, Tron, or Caspa? The answer is obvious. And the Caspa team timing this upgrade to run exactly parallel when the market makers are going to start getting added liquidity is as genius as how Satoshi does the Bitcoin having the year of a United States presidential election knowing that the in-house power are going to want to stimulate the risk on markets in general as voters are entering the polls. Super smart using timing. And again, this is tying Jonathan Saplinski directly to being Satoshi more than any of the other evidence that we put together. And we have another video covering all of that in detail. To answer the age old question, when is Caspa getting smart contracts? They'll get smart contracts at the perfect time, which will most likely be very early in 2025. Now we got the entire market running right now. We got them by the throat. Caspa has been climbing up the market cap ranking, having massive price break to the upside. And this price break is projected to continue to running to 40, even 60 cents. Now is when we go through the throat. The social media channels that are covering Caspa just don't have the muscle. They don't have the firepower. They haven't been on board long enough, like Altcoin Daily, BitBoy, all these channels that have been around for five or six years to really get Caspa noticed. So it's up to the everyday investor. Everybody's got to pull their weight. We're all getting behind Jonathan Saplinski and the team in helping teach your everyday crypto investor about the investment that they're making. Now, there's been a lot of slogans thrown around like solves the trilemma. That one never really worked out. It's a lot like the Pentium upgrade for everybody who's 40 or older. You remember the computers used to run on a 386. They were very slow. It wasn't a great household tool. As soon as the Pentiums came out, it completely changed the face of home computing. And Caspa is doing the same exact thing for blockchain. That's another great advertising pitch. So we've all got our mission parameters. We've all got to get to work and we've got to show all of these old social media giants, who's the boss? And the boss is Caspa. Thanks for checking out this video. We'll catch you on the next one.